Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back. Uh, if you have not heard the names Mohamed Samora and Axel Melendez, learn them now. These two guys emerged on the uh, Pro Box TV show uh, card tonight. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. I'm sorry about that. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds uh, from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into uh, today's show. Um, so big news. Uh, so. The, the, the Wednesday night card, Plant City, Florida. Again, this Pro Box series, you know I'm in love with this thing. Um, you can get it for free on YouTube. Uh, you can pay $1.99 for the app. Um, but this series is Showbox 2.0. It's giving you high-level prospects who are toughly matched. And today's card, we'll start with the main event. Mohamed Samora. And I'm, and I'm hoping it's the second time you've seen him now. If you, if you watch the Pro Box series, they call him the Black Buffalo. Um, born in um, Guinea, am I saying that right? Raised in Cuba until he was 14, then moved to Montreal. Um, he had a, a win a, a few months ago over Josea Shirley, who was an undefeated prospect. I uh, was back at it again, more impressive, uh, stopping Angel Vasquez and uh, taking the zero in, in his in his L column as well. Um, I mean, just really, really good offensive fight. He's sort of catching and shooting all night, landing the left hook right up because he's using his jab too. He's using his jab to get onto the inside. I mean, he's not a jabber, but he's got a shotgun jab, right? That he fires, he gets inside, right? Um, he he, he took Vasquez's legs away the first round, and he never got him back. And, and by the sixth round, this thing looked like cruel and unusual punishment for Vasquez. And Vasquez fought hard. He fought badly. He was just, he was never in the fight. Uh, he was, you know, the right uppercut and the left hook uh, from Shamora was on the money. Um, he almost got him out at the end of the fourth. He almost, you know, he, he had bloodied him. He had rocked him. You know, he, he had really, really, Put his combinations, put his punches together, and, and Vasquez had no answers. He just, you know, he was trying hard. He was firing. He, he, you know, he landed some shots here and there, but he never got his legs underneath him after he got rocked in the first round. And like I said, he was a bloody mess. Um, and then the seventh round, a left hook, right uppercut again, rocked uh, Vasquez. And you know, it's just the fight should have been stopped. Should have been stopped. Should have been stopped. And the referee just just let this thing go on and on and on. Finally, in the eighth round, uh, we got to stop. It's 13 seconds left in the eighth round, which, I, you know, it was much, much, much uh, too little, too late. Um, really, uh, an A-plus performance um, from Mohamed Samar. If that's not a name you know, he's a welterweight, 147-pounder. He, he's now beaten uh, – Two undefeated prospects in a row on this uh, Pro Box TV series. He's a keeper of a prospect. He's a keeper of a prospect. Um, he's uh, he's already thirty, so he's not young. He's gonna have to be moved quickly. Like I said, he's not. You know, he doesn't have all the time in the world. Um, but he's four, uh, fourteen and one now. Thirteen and one now. I'm sorry, thirteen and one. He's got one loss in Uruguay to a fighter named Elisam Marquez back in 2020. Um, you know, I was I, I didn't see that fight, but since then he, he's uh, won three fights in a row. 
you know, that 2020 fight was right before the pandemic. He's out of the ring year and a half. He comes back, he gets a win in Canada. Um, and I, I, I want to see this fight with Allison Marquez now. Um, the fight he lost. We got 30 year old uh, from, uh, but, but, well, again, for, uh, He's right out of Montreal, Canada. Really good looking prospect. Uh, looking forward to seeing him again. But again, he's going to have to move quickly. Don't know what his ceiling is, but he's got the ability to 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 make a fight and, and to be in the picture. And he's going to be in the picture. All right, let's get into the co main event. Axel Mendoza. And this was a great fight. Uh, I, I'm hoping they do this fight again. I don't, I don't think they will. Axel Melendez, again, he's about 28 uh, from. Saiba Puerto Rico, Saiba Puerto Rico, uh, now fights out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, ferocious fitness uh, in, in San Antonio, if you're familiar. Um, and, and he is a heck of an offensive fighter. He's got some flaws defensively that he needs to fix. Um, but it is a really, really good fight. It's a six-round affair. Uh, he moved to 6-0, and I believe. Um, and, and he took on... Uh, uh, <laughs> And I, I'm going to get these names wrong. Um, how, how are we say? How are we saying this? Demontez is that? Is this Demontez Duncan? Eight no prospect from Louisville, Kentucky, who we've seen before too. Um, it was supposed to win tonight. You know, obviously Duncan was the guy that had their eye on. Melendez was having none of that. He almost stopped him in the first round. Left hook, right hand hurt him. Uh, Right up against not his head back less than a minute to go. Uh, he could have finished him in the first round. Uh, there were a couple seconds left. Duncan, he rallied. You know, he heard him 30 seconds in. Almost had him out late in the round. Uh, the toughest round of Duncan's pro career by a mile. He gets through the round, saves the round. Duncan, he starts to rally back. He gets to blow it again in the second, and he starts to rally back. He starts to get back in the fight. He's fighting really well in the mid range, but he wasn't physically strong enough or skilled enough to keep Melendez off of him. And Melendez came on strong in the final round, pressed him, cut the ring off, backed him up. But Duncan was having success in the mid range. I, I just think Duncan is a good fighter. The Montez Duncan has skills. I think this was just a little bit too much, a little bit too soon. Uh, but Axel Melendez, 28 years old. Good combination puncher, uh, good pop, good power, denture, um, pretty good speed, really good offensive fighter, has some things to shore up defensively, but he's only had a handful of fights. Uh, but this is a guy to keep an eye on, too, in a 154-pound division. Again, he's 28, not 23, not 21, so he's going to have to move him along quickly. Uh, but uh, hopefully they get Axel uh, Melendez. And, he again, local guy, Texas, San Antonio, Rose's Fitness, um, really good performance in a really entertaining fight. Now, the scorecard, 58-56, okay. You know, it was either 4-2 or 5-1. The third judge hands an even scorecard, which makes no sense at all. Um, but, you know, they, they get it right. So, um, you know, no, no harm there. Uh, but Melendez looks to be like an, a really good offensive fighter um, who puts his combinations together. Comes forward physically strong as you know a Brahma bull, a uh, good pop. He's you know he can be had by a really good boxer, but you're gonna have to be willing to. You know you're gonna have to be highly skilled, be able to move, and, and be willing to stand in with him at spots because um, you're not gonna run from this guy. In, you know in, as he goes to eight, 10, eight, 10, 12 round fights. Um, but Mohamed Samora, Axel Mendoza, remember those names. You're gonna be seeing him again. High level prospects. Great pro box card again. Can't wait till their next one. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Kits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is March 23rd, 2023. Um, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.